I've probably cried about it a couple of times because I know how many people need, like Tommy said, how many people need the food this year. And our Bannon Community Garden isn't growing anything but weeds now. People have been using the Learman Community Garden for the last decade, but now they aren't able to get fresh produce this year. That's right. The neighbor who took care of it says it was taken away from him. WCI 3 Sarah Lehman joins us now. So Sarah, neighbors are calling it a community eyesore. Yeah, well, it's extremely overgrown. There are weeds everywhere. Just take a look at it. Taking over, one of the only signs that a garden was there is the sign on the corner. Other than that, you won't see cucumbers or strawberries growing this year. Tommy Askins says he's been taking care of the garden for years. The Learman Neighborhood Action Committee would lease the land from the city for $1. Then they would grow produce and give it to people for free. The city only asked for proof of insurance in case something happened. This year, the neighbors say that was going to cost about $1,000. Something they say the community simply can't afford, leading the community garden to be closed. We lost the community uh, hope. The, the hope what, what this community had well, that was the garden was was, was uh, providing for this neighborhood, and and not just this neighborhood, uh, all the surrounding neighborhoods. We didn't give up on the garden. We we really want to, to see that garden come back. So Askin says he would be willing to take care of the garden again, but right now the neighbors say it feels out of their control. They say people in the community could have really used the garden this year and the produce as prices continue to rise across the board. So I talked with Urbana Mayor today about the garden, and she says she's sad to see the state that it's in, and she hopes the city can do something with their garden next year. So sad to see an overgrown with weeds. All right, thank you so much, Sarah.